Hello, my name is Louise Horson from Turf Design Studio, the landscape architect for the public domain works at the Australian War Memorial. We're excited to share this video with you, outlining the key design principles that lie behind our overall design approach. To begin with, we'd like to acknowledge and pay our respects to the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Ngunnawal peoples, and on whose ancestral lands the Australian War Memorial is built. Seen from the perspective of one of Canberra's hot air balloons, it's clear just how commanding this cultural icon really is. It has a powerful presence, however, not just by virtue of its setting, but in the hearts of Canberrians and Australians more broadly. Turning now to the works that we've had the privilege of being tasked with, behind our thinking are a number of key goals that are in line with the principles of the Australian War Memorial Heritage Management Plan. These are to preserve the memorial's architectural qualities and the dominance of the land axis, to create a cohesive landscape setting that provides a counterpoint between the ordered nature of the Western precinct and the more naturalized Eastern precinct, to improve site legibility and enhance the arrival and departure experience while ensuring accessibility for all is improved across the site, to preserve important views as well as existing vegetation, to increase amenity and provide a variety of usable spaces and shade, and finally, to ensure quality, durability and longevity. Our first design scheme is for the Western Car Park and Pathway. Here we're focused on improving the existing Western Car Park and the creation of a new pedestrian route leading to the memorial that's accessible to everyone, from a mum with a double pram to someone with a walking stick or wheelchair. Our ultimate aim being to make a visit to the memorial a rewarding experience from the moment of arrival. A new wide central pathway flanked by a feature hedge guides the visitor to the starting point on this brief but important journey. It's marked by feature planting, trees, clear signage and seating. We've also assessed any new planting within the car park and pathway to ensure important views, notably to Mount Ainsley and towards the memorial, are preserved. As you begin walking along the pathway, you'll see that you can either turn left and explore the Captain Reginald Saunders Courtyard, or you can continue along a new path that leads directly to the main entry of the memorial through the sculpture garden. We've relocated the plaques along the edge of this new path, allowing room for any future additions. The memorial has notified key stakeholders, which is covered in detail under section 12.3 of the Public Realm Planning Report. Continue strolling and you'll see the formal open lawn character of the Western Precinct has been preserved with careful placement of trees and thorough investigation of sight lines. Look to your left as the pathway curves around and you may feel inclined to pause. There in clear sight is the memorial dome in all its glory, your view uninterrupted. This strong visual connection to this iconic landmark emphasizes its centrality and acts as a guide to visitors. As you near the end of the pathway, you pass the Monash sculpture on the left, as well as the new southern entrance straight ahead, and to your right, the parade grounds, both designed by Scott Carver. Through the use of materials, we've ensured that when the path ends, visitors can easily see that they have a choice. They can walk down into the new entry or head up to the main forecourt and enter via the original entrance. As we turn around and pull back, we get a clear view of how we've transformed the journey from the car park to the main entrance into an easy, enjoyable experience. You've been gently guided to your destination, passing by sculptures, plaques, and that iconic dome. In short, it's been a pleasurable and impressive way to start your visit to the Australian War Memorial. Our second design scheme is for Poppy's Car Park Landscape, 
where a green landscape will be created over the existing car park to allow trees and plants to thrive closer to the cafe. This striking change will nest Poppy's Cafe into the landscape, improve amenity and increase the Australian woodland, providing a counterpoint to the formal nature of the Western Precinct. The interface of the cafe and the landscape has been activated with high quality bleacher seating and open space for groups to gather. The main pathway winds around towards the east, leading us away from the front entrance. The path's geometry ties in aesthetically with the curvaceous nearby bean building and contrasts with the straight lines of Poppy's Cafe. Proposed clusters of eucalyptus trees extend the natural woodland character of the eastern landscape and provide plenty of shaded space for visitors. The setting also promotes functional use, including free play by kids and school groups, and is easily accessed off the gentle grading path. Turning back, we see the relocated Montevideo Maru sculpture in a clearing to the side of the path, highly visible from all directions. Visitors depart the memorial along the pathway leading east into the established woodlands, encouraging quiet reflection. That brings us to the end of our presentation. We hope it has given you a good overview of our designs and thank you for watching.